This is part of the Alberta Healthy Living video series, Helping You Feel Better After COVID. This session will focus on ways to help manage muscle and joint pain. There are many options we can use to help us self-manage our pain. We will begin by talking about the role of proper positioning and posture. Throughout the day, be aware of your posture and alignment. Maintaining an upright posture with your head in midline, shoulders relaxed and down, and your trunk lengthened puts the least amount of stress and strain on our bodies. Don't work too hard to maintain good posture and avoid tensing muscles, as this can result in more soreness. Limit positions which cause your back to curl or round forwards. You can use supports such as pillows or cushions to help you maintain better alignment and feel more relaxed. Throughout the day, try to change positions frequently, for example, every 30 to 60 minutes, and limit the amount of time you stay in any one position. Regular movement is a good way to decrease and manage pain. Movement helps prevent stiffness, promotes blood flow, lubricates joints, and keeps our muscles strong. Some tips to introduce or increase activity into your day include start slowly and pace yourself during activity. Stop and rest when needed. Plan to take breaks before the pain stops you in your tracks. Scale back if your pain worsens. Do gentle stretches regularly to move your joints and muscles. Move within a pain-free range of motion. When resuming exercise, start with low impact options, such as walking. Wear supportive shoes with activity as this can help decrease pain and help us maintain proper alignment. Walking aids such as canes, walking poles, or walkers can also be helpful if needed. While movement and activity can be good for joint and muscle pain, if you find it makes any of your other symptoms, such as fatigue or breathing difficulties worse, remember to balance activity with rest and pacing. Some other tools you may find helpful in managing pain include the use of hot or cold packs. Both heat and ice can help lower pain, so it's often a personal choice as to which one you prefer. Heat helps with blood flow, relaxes tight muscles, and decreases stiffness. It may be a better choice if you plan to be active afterwards. Avoid using heat on an inflamed joint that is hot, red, and swollen. Cold or ice will numb an area and decrease blood flow, so may help with throbbing pain and inflammation. You may also find relief from having a massage, practicing deep breathing or relaxation exercises, using guided imagery or distraction techniques, like counting backwards from 100 by 7s, to help manage pain, you can also talk to a doctor or pharmacist about pain medication options and its usage. If you would like more information on how to self-manage pain, you can contact the Rehab Advice Line at 1-833-379-0563 or consider working one-to-one -one with a physiotherapist near you.